Hey guys, welcome to today's edition of Lottie's NBA Locks. Let's get right to it. First lock, Chicago Bulls, plus nine in Brooklyn. So Karis LeVert is back for the Nets. The Nets had a good start to the season, and LeVert was clearly the best player on their team. When he got injured, they struggled for a little while. They had to figure out how to play without him. And when they did, they catapulted themselves into the playoffs. They've been one of the best teams in the NBA in 2019. Now that he's back, they'll have to figure out how to play with him again. One player changes the complexion of the team, especially someone that's going to play as many minutes as LeVert does and take as many shots that he does. So I imagine they'll struggle, at least for a few games, while they figure out how to play with LeVert again. At the other end, the Bulls have been very competitive as of late. They've lost eight of their last nine, but only one of those losses was by more than seven points. Actually, one of them came against Brooklyn in Brooklyn when they lost by only five. And that loss, that was more than seven points, came against the Hawks at home, where the Bulls are actually a little worse than they are on the road. 5-21 and 21 at home versus 7-21 and 21 on the road. They seem, despite losing, to at least be playing like a cohesive unit. I see this game being competitive. Actually, I could even see the Bulls winning this game. Lock number one, Chicago Bulls plus nine in Brooklyn. Lock number two, Miami Heat plus three. On the road in Sacramento, I love the Heat on the road. They've won three straight road games. They have to go to Golden State and Denver in their next two games. This is a game they know they need to fend off the Detroit Pistons from that final playoff spot in the East. The Kings are in a similar position, but this is a young team in Sacramento. Young teams haven't learned what it takes to win these types of games. They haven't really played these types of games. I expect a playoff-like intensity from the Heat, and they've been there. The Kings haven't. Furthermore, the Kings lost two important pieces over the trade deadline. And Amon Schumpert, who, along with Zach Randolph, who was also traded, was one of the few veterans this team had. You need those guys for these types of games. Zach Randolph didn't do much for the team on the court, but he did a lot for the team off the court. And Amon Schumpert was the emotional leader of this team. You saw what happened without him the other night in Houston. He did a lot for this Sacramento team that didn't show up in the box score. Justin Jackson, another player that was traded, was a 3 and D guy. He wasn't a guy that demanded the ball. He's not a guy that wanted to go one-on-one. He was perfectly content spotting up, shooting when he's open, and Ding up at the other end. Harrison Barnes is not that type of player. He needs the ball in his hands. So the Kings will need a few games to figure out how to play with him. Lock number two is the Miami Heat. Plus three against the Sacktown Kings. That's all the locks I have for today. Just staying patient and waiting to see how each team in the NBA looks after the trade deadline. We know a lot of teams will start to tank. Might take a day off here and there. But when I do see something I like, I will definitely share it with you guys. And that includes later on today. So stay tuned. No NHL locks for today. I will have some tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Good luck if you're placing any bets. And we'll maybe see you later. Major key alert.